In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we sail to Compass Key to revisit the sharks and check out the cool tidal pool called Rachel's Bubble Bath. With ripping currents, late nights, and cool places to visit, there's more to Compass Key than we thought. got a short hop today going up from uh, Big Major's Key to Compass Key, maybe revisit the sharks. And uh, the winds are very light and right behind us. We don't quite have enough wind to run the jib and we've got a little bit too much wind gusting for the spinnaker so we thought we'd split the difference and run the jib. Uh, you do your own math. I'll take this over the sound of engines anytime. There's a lot of current here. Lisa's working for this one. We're at Compass Key. Right over there is the Compass Key Marina with the famous shark swimming. I'm a strong swimmer, but even with fins on, this current is challenging. And there it is, gone. We're anchored on the side of this sand shoal. Not ideal, as the anchor could conceivably pull out of the hill. There's no handle. There's no handle. Gone. Anchor's buried. I'm not saying it took you a while to make that anchor dive, but breakfast is ready. <laughs> there was just too much current spinning us in circles on the Pipe Creek side, so we moved through the cut closer to where Starry Horizons is anchored, where we met the Welcoming Committee. Honestly, I could never get tired of this. It's like having my own ocean puppy. I wanted to jump in, but there was a very strong current.
What's one of the really cool things about staying at Compass Key? These guys coming to visit. It's another nurse shark. This one's about six feet. Just cruising in the current. Here you can get an idea of the size of this shark in comparison to our dinghy. Then we received our assigned Barracuda. Lisa is diving in to check the anchor and this three big Barracuda is down there. And as per usual, Lisa was nervous about getting in with them, but once she got in, now she's chasing them. but then the little sneak tried to turn around and creep up on me. We're heading over to Rachel's bubble bath today. We're just getting prepared, but we don't even manage to get off the boat before we start running into really cool stuff. Like in this case, another nurse shark. Very distracting when you're trying to get stuff ready. I know we could go into Compass Key right over there and uh, am I pointing the right way? Right over there and pay our money and hang out with a whole pile of sharks at the dock and it's really cool and you can pet them and we did that and it's awesome but how much cooler is it when they come out to visit you rachel's bubble bath is out around that cut that motor yacht's going through and all the way up the side of the island to the very peak Apparently there's a beach up there. And from the beach you hike to the bubble bath. We were up all last night and partying and we missed you guys terribly, but it was a lot of fun. But we're a little run down right now. <laughs> and because of him, we gotta go friggin' to this bath bubble something or other. So we were up pretty late last night babysitting the generator. Oh, is that how you want to do <laughs> <laughs> So we're a little bit late for high tide and a great big crowd just left Rachel's bubble bath out there toward the beach. So we're alone. Nope, people are coming, look. And I don't know if we're alone or not. Oh, there's people coming. Okay. So we're mostly alone, mostly, but no, that's okay. Not. And we've missed the, uh, the high point of the high tide, but I think it's still going to be pretty cool. I guess we'll know in a few minutes. Well, we made it. Rachel's bubble bath. I don't know who Rachel is. Rachel didn't invite us. We didn't tell her she was coming, so I hope we're okay. Bubble baths are usually a more private affair where I grew up. No more than three, four people tops. Hot tubs excluded, of course. Good, they poured the bubbles. <laughs> they knew we were coming. 
<laughs> well, does it feel like a bubble bath? Yes, it does. Usually, run yours a little warmer, don't a little you? Warmer. A little, little bit? bit warmer. A little, little bit? A little bit warmer. And not quite so deep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that foams as it comes in. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. What you doing? Floating. Because we all float down here. <laughs> Just don't cut yourself. Good plan. Yep. Oh, that's cool. You'll have to see it on video later. <laughs> Why is it hard to stand on that? Very very slippery. Let's see if I can get out of your way. It's not a high climb, but at least the rocks are razor sharp. Careful is my middle. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> There's no way to describe how beautiful this place is. The camera doesn't do it justice. These bubbles are like silk, warm and smooth and foamy. Next, we explore Pipe Creek from beautiful sandbars to underwater ravines and coral gardens. Pipe Creek is a wonderland of stunning views. <laughs> <laughs> 